Linda Vigna, Curator of Exhibitions at the Racine Art Museum. And today I'm going to walk you through part two of a two-part video series that we did on our currently running exhibition from the Heart Artist as Commentator. You could also come see this in the galleries Wednesday through Saturday from noon to four through October 4th. So from the Heart emphasizes artists who are responding to the world around them through social and cultural issues that they feel really um, really sincerely like they need to make a comment on or a statement on. First artist that we have is Rosita Johansson. Johansson um, was looking at the war in the Middle East in the 90s and while she's using a fiber technique, which seems really soft and gentle and sweet, she's still addressing a really sort of harsh and horrible um, subject. One of the things that we tried to do with this exhibition as well is include text so that you could see the artist's perspective remembering that everybody comes to different things going on in the world with different thoughts and ideas. Um, but you get to see the artists, um, the artist's thoughts and ideas through both their work and then through text that gives you a little bit more of their perspective. All of these works come from Ram's collection, um, which of course has both works on paper as well as craft. This work is from our WPA collection. Um, this particular artist, Elizabeth Olds, was really interested in showing stratas of society in the 1930s and 40s. Um, you have the bankers, the sort of so-called upper crust, and they're a little bit caricatured. You can see that her perspective on them is perhaps not so favorable. Um, she treats their faces as if they were cartoonish. And then if you compare that to another print that Olds did of a minor. This was called Minor Joe, M-I-N-E-R, Minor who worked in the coal mines, and you can see that his face is a little more rugged, and there's perhaps even a little bit more sympathy. Olds was really interested in sort of showing the value of labor, um, especially at a time period when the economy was sort of falling apart. Similarly, um, Santos Zingale worked during the same time period with a very different subject matter. This is called Lynch Law. Um, it was produced in 1934, and like other artists in the 30s, um, there was a sort of widespread response to social and cultural issues, lots of conversations about lynching and racial inequality. And again, while this was 1934, there certainly are some things that resonate with larger conversations that are going on today. It's always interesting to see the resonance between the past and the present. Um, similarly, you have uh, Tara Walker with the book um, that's sort of like a pop-up book, but this particular pop-up book is about a the life of a slave, sort of told her perspective. Kara Walker is really well known for very large scale installations, um, but in this instance, she did a book that still re reaches out into the viewer's space by the nature of its pop-up qualities. Um, we have compared that in the case to a book by Amos Kennedy, and Kennedy is also very interested in responding to larger conversations about racial equality and diversity, and again, just with this notion of protest, um, we are living among that today. So another way that the past sort of resonates with the present. And we're gonna end up in the gallery. It's a small show, but there's a lot of really meaty work, so lots of things to take in. This is a very large watercolor by Warrington Cole Scott, who's really well known as a printmaker, but every now and then did watercolor pieces. This focuses on a prison. Um, this he calls the um, McCaffreyville, which seems to be a fictitious prison. The format for this prison idea, looking like this underground chamber, is based on a historical artist named Piranesi who did a series of prison drawings. Cole Scott, uh, and we have a little image of that on the label so that you get a sense to see what Cole Scott was referring to. He also incorporates a lot more contemporary subject matter and material by including prisoners in the space and various things that sort of imagine um, have happened historically in prisons throughout the years. We also have um, in the galleries available to you an iPad so you could look at Ram's first virtual community art exhibition. You could also see that on the website www.ramart.org and that's where contemporary artists are responding to some of the things that these artists were responding to historically.